Hello there. How is everything? I hope it's always good. Welcome to English lesson with me, Mem Atik. It's always a pleasure to greet you. Today is reading comprehension. There is new text for you with new vocabularies to make you easier understand the text. And to practice in Google Classroom, there are some questions about the text to see how far your understanding about the text. It called reading comprehension. It will be easy and fun for you. So, grab your stationery, pay attention, be focused, and let's go! Hello students, it's the reading comprehension. Tujuan pembelajaran 3.1 Siswa dapat memahami teks bacaan dalam bahasa Inggris. In reading comprehension, there is a text. Here the text. I divide it into some slides to make you understand and easier you. It's the first slide. Thomas who comes from Vienna. I'm Thomas and I live in Vienna with my parents and my sisters. I'm the youngest in my family. I turned 13 last month. My sisters are Martina, 16, and Beta, 19. Beta's very serious and she always tells me what to do. I guess because she's the oldest. Thomas yang berasal dari Vienna. I'm Thomas. Saya adalah Thomas dan saya tinggal di Vienna dengan orang tua saya dan saudara-saudara perempuan saya. Saya adalah yang termuda di keluarga saya. Saya berumur 13 tahun bulan lalu. Saudara perempuan saya Martina berumur 16 dan Beta berumur 19. Beta sangat serius dan dia selalu memberitahu saya apa yang harus saya lakukan. Saya rasa karena dia adalah yang tertua. I go to a nice school not too far from our home and I really enjoy it. I have a lot of friends there and I enjoy studying. My best subject is geography, probably because it's the easiest to. My most difficult subject is math. I'm terrible in math. Saya bersekolah di sekolah yang bagus tidak jauh dari rumah kami dan saya sangat menikmatinya. Saya punya banyak teman di sana dan saya menikmati belajar. Pelajaran kesukaan saya adalah geografi. Mungkin karena itu juga yang termudah. Pelajaran tersusah saya adalah matematika. Saya buruk dalam matematika. I love playing sports, especially basketball. I'm the tallest player on school team and I usually play really well. It's the happiest part of my day. My coach says that one day I could play professional basketball. Saya suka olahraga, terutama basket. Saya adalah yang tertinggi di tim sekolah. Dan saya biasanya bermain sangat baik. Itu adalah bagian paling bahagia dalam hari saya. Pelatih saya mengatakan bahwa suatu hari saya bisa menjadi pemain basket profesional. On the weekend, I spend a lot of time with my friends Ralph and Kurt. We do everything together and they are the most important people in my life, apart from my family of course. Pada akhir pekan, saya menghabiskan banyak waktu dengan teman-teman saya, Ralph dan Kurt. Kita melakukan banyak hal bersama. Kita melakukan semua hal bersama-sama dan mereka adalah orang-orang terpenting dalam hidup saya. 
terlepas dari keluarga saya tentunya. That's the story. And here the vocabularies for you. Youngest, termuda, turned, menjadi, guess, tebak, subject, pelajaran, probably, kemungkinan, terrible, sangat buruk, difficult, susah, math, matematika. Especially, terutama, usually, biasanya, part, bagian, coach, pelatih, spend, menghabiskan, everything, segalanya, apart, terpisah, of course, tentu saja. That's the lesson today. Thank you for your attention and see you in Google Classroom. So, that's all our lesson about reading comprehension today. I'll be waiting in Google Classroom with some question about the text. Finally, stay at home. Respect social distancing, put on your mask, and don't forget to wash your hand. Enjoy learning! And have a nice day. See you.